Hey also guys, that's Kazooie here and welcome to episode 20 of Skilling to Glory. We ended off the previous episode with a Rage Quit and that of course means we get to apply an Attribute card for the first time to Rakala who now has 92 pace, 90 dribbling, 79 shooting and 83 passing. We need to score three more goals with him so uh, hopefully we can get close in this episode. So um, yeah, we start things off in the first game. We come against pretty much a full Borussia Dortmund side. But also the fat birthday version of Ogbonna. And he also had uh, one of the new players in Ultimate Team in the, the Swedish striker. Only a 67 rated uh, Isaac there. And um, yeah, we start things off after four minutes here with Fernandinho on the left hand side. Crossed it in a low cross to Aguero who then uh, just misses, uh, misses the target. Then a few minutes later again Aguero going through inside the box. Goes for the fake shot to the advanced Raymo Flick. Managed to beat the defenders. And then somehow, somehow we managed to score. I don't know how. But it went in and I think it actually got awarded as an own goal and um, you can see from this replay that a lot of stuff was going on. I'm not even too sure if Aguero actually was able to hit it at the end but the goalkeeper hit it, his final defender hit it as well. And as I said it ended up being an own goal but uh, we do complete the challenge since it was an in air skill move we used so um, yeah I was, uh, was happy with that goal. Then minutes later we go on a really nice run with Rakala from a corner and look at that for a goal. This goal really reminded me of that thing Benzema actually did a couple days ago in the Champions League which was pretty much on the kind of same area uh, on the pitch. So um, yeah, very nice goal and uh, scoring it with Rakala as well was just uh, just amazing to see. So really nice goal bringing, uh, bringing us up 2-0. And uh, we're still in the 40th minute. They're still in the first half. Uh, getting another chance with Rakala on the right hand side. Some great skill. It was a low cross to Aguero. But then a good block there from his defender. Then uh, still in the first half. 45th minute. He has the ball with Suarez. One of the players he decided to sub on. We go on the counter. Very nice ball from Fernandinho. All the way to Aguero. His goalkeeper came out. And then with a very nice chip. We beat him. And we do make it 3-0. And um, you can see from the halftime stats that we uh, that we completely dominated. My opponent only had one chance, which wasn't really a huge one. But into the second half we go, the tables were definitely turned around because my opponent started off strong with a good chance from, uh, from Suarez, hits the crossbar. Then minutes later he gets himself another chance and uh, this is how it would kind of go in the second half. Him getting a lot of shots in straight at Lariso, that's what I got to say because you can see from all the shots that he had they were just straight down the middle and that's why I think anyway Yoris managed to save all of them but I was very surprised that uh, he wasn't able to score with those chances. Then 84th minute after some great skill moves here from Perotti we do get a sell another chance here with Fernandinho shoots there whilst he turned around good save from his keeper as well and that's how the game ended. I can see final stats the, the shots were in his favour but as I mentioned before, he just couldn't score. And the shots that he took were just straight down the middle. So, yeah, they weren't like incredible saves or something from Yoris. I think the finishing uh, from my opponent just should have been better. Anyway, going into the second game, we come against a very strong side in the 4-2-3-1 formation with Inform Mertens, team of the tournament, Dybala, also uh, some more Inform. So, um, yeah, strong team we had to face against. And uh, we start off very bad giving my opponent the ball. Then he tried to go for a 1-2 here with Mertens. But then all of a sudden, I had the ball with my defender, which I did not expect. And because of it, I kind of... Yeah, lost the ball in a very stupid way. I pressed the A button uh, way too many times than I should have. And uh, yeah, he scores the very early goal to uh, give him the lead. Then 12th minute, uh, we have the ball with Alessandro. Very nice uh, Henry fake pass there to Fernandinho. But then all of a sudden, he gets the ball with Mertens. I don't know how again. He went on the counter and I thought this was going to be the 2-0. I knew what he was going to do. Pass it across to Dybala. But then he went with a flare shot. Which obviously went wide. So uh, another huge chance for my opponent. But um, this is how I would go the first half mainly. He had a lot of chance. I tried my best defending him, but uh, it was just so tricky since he used shielding very effectively. You can see from this chance as well, a very nice back heel with Perisic. He used uh, shielding again very effectively, and that would have been an insane goal if he uh, managed to shoot that one into the far corner. Then he gets himself another chance. A good save from Yoris, managed to defend it there at the end. And I knew at this point that um, even though my opponent was playing much better, I would get one chance at least. And this is the only like proper chance we had in the first half. A shot from Aguero, which I maybe should have passed off to Rakala since he was near him. And um, yeah, straight at the goalkeeper as well. Then second half, after we made some changes, uh, Martial on the ball, plays it on through to Mane. A nice scoop turn, but we couldn't beat the defender. The goalkeeper picked it up very easily and um, yeah, that's how the game ended. So a game we, uh, we can simply forget because I didn't create much and uh, it was just a very tough opponent to uh, play against as well. The next game we come against a ridiculous side. 4-3-1-2 formation with four legends. Uh, two player of the month players in Lukaku, Della Alli and also wants to watch Paul Pogba. And um, despite actually playing against a very strong side, 
We start off actually very well in this game with Alessandro, a couple skill moves, then uh, we play it on through here to Agro who makes the perfect run and then a very nice finish to make it 1-0 very early in the game and also complete uh, the first challenge of this episode. The, the fifth skill goal then uh, from kickoff you can see that one of my players wasn't reacting and that was because I wasn't paying attention when this all happened my opponent makes a one run from kickoff you can see it from uh, the replay as well I think Bailly was just standing there doing nothing really and that's all my fault because I wasn't paying attention like usually when I complete a challenge or when I score a skill goal or just a goal with the unlockable player I write it down for myself so I can kind of keep track on how many goals we have and stuff but uh, when he actually went on the attack, I was still like busy doing that. So it was just really stupid for myself, uh, not really paying attention and uh, giving a goal away that way. But then from kickoff, we get back immediately after a very nice run. It is again Aguero with the goal, this time a header. And um, yeah, we give ourselves the lead back immediately. Then 20th minute after some nice play between Rakala and Fernandinho. It is again Rakala on the ball, fake Rabona. To another skill move we lose the ball but then we get it back with Fernandinho uh, we cross it in here to Della Sandro a low cross but a really good save from Begovic which uh, could have easily been a 3-1 for us then at 26 minutes some nice link up between the, the right back the two South Africans and uh, Rakala uh, we play it around nicely here Aguero on the ball gets pushed off the ball there almost but then we play it on through to uh, Della Sandro good shot there but also a very good save from Begovic then uh, before half time he picks up a corner Tries to go for a low header there with, uh, with Lukaku, I think. Then he passed it off to Lukaku since uh, he got the ball back. And, um, yeah, he taps it in. Went really quick. You can see my defenders uh, weren't positioned very well. And they basically ran into each other whilst uh, he was able to shoot on goal. So uh, he makes it all even. Then straight from kickoff again. You're not going to believe it. We again go on the attack after some great stuff from Perot. We play it through to Agro, who makes the perfect run. And completes his hat-trick in the 45th minute. Again, I couldn't believe it that we uh, got back into this game so quickly. And uh, you can see half-time, we had most of the possession. But uh, despite that, it was just a uh, very crazy game. Because with all those kickoff goals, I uh, I didn't know what I uh, what I saw really. So, um, yeah, second half we went. Uh, we got a chance for Dallas Sunder. He gets himself a chance too with Lineker. Easy save from Yoris. From that, we went on the counter here with Aguero. You can see that none of my attackers were kind of catching up. So I had to do it all myself with Aguero. I maybe could have passed it off to uh, Rakala right there. But when I was uh, going on the run with Aguero, I didn't know what to do. Took the shot. Easy save from his keeper. And then in the 80th minute... He makes it 3-3 uh, here with Lukaku and um, yeah, whilst he scored that goal, he decided to press start, probably make, to make some changes, uh, which I actually did. I decided to bring on Martial and also Mane, but unfortunately, uh, until the 90th minute, nothing really happened um, and uh, you can see that we had to go into extra time. And uh, we start off here in the uh, 93rd minute, playing it on through here to Aguero. A nice scoop turn to set himself free. Uh, cuts in here with the spin. With a bit of luck, we beat their Della Alli. Then we beat this defender there with a roulette. We go inside the box and then with a very nice outside foot finish, we shoot it into the far corner to get himself another goal, his fourth goal in this game and uh, giving us the 4-3 leads. Then from a corner, he got very close here, making it four for a very nice block there from Martial at the back post with, uh, with his whole body really. He uh, prevented my opponent from scoring. But then minutes later in the second half of extra time, he shoots it in with Harry Kane. Very nice shot, top corner finish. And uh, he was actually very close, making it 5-4 as well in the 120th minute. And um, he didn't go in, so we had to go into a penalty shootout. And uh, we started off amazing. We saved his first penalty. We shoot ours in straight down the middle with Taiwo. Then we save another penalty of his, the one with Harry Kane. We shoot this one in with Mane. So all of a sudden, we were 2-0 up when it came to the penalties. And then again, we save his third penalty as well. So if we shoot this one in, we would uh, pretty much win the penalty shootout. But we, uh, we missed it. He shoots his uh, next one in. But then if we shoot this one in, we would win it nonetheless. And that is what we did. Again, a penalty uh, through the middle with Perotti this time. And uh, we ended up winning this game uh, on, uh, on penalties 3-1. to one. So, um, yeah, just a crazy game in general. Crazy penalty shootout. And an even crazier game with all those kickoff goals. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments down below what you think about those kickoff goals. Because I know a lot of people think that there is some sort of a glitch in FIFA when it comes to kickoff. I don't really know since, for me anyway, it was the first time I experienced this. So, um, yeah, as I said... For you to let me know your thoughts about that in the comments. But uh, moving on to the skill is up. You can see we completed two challenges so far. We only need two more goals with Rakala, which we can hopefully do in the next episode. And then uh, move on to the next five-star skiller. But anyway, guys, that's where we're going to be ending off this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.